All right, you're very welcome back, and it's time to delve in to today's story. Now, the first one is, my profession is my passion. I like that. Let's say that again like a gangster. My profession is my passion. My profession is my passion. Yo, my profession. Yo. Is my passion. What's the yo? yo. Exactly. Uh, what's yo? I was the toughest. I was the most gangster person. No, no, no. Yo was too. Street. My profession <laughs> my is my street. passion. Listen, my my profession hmm. is my passion. Oh my goodness, all right. Fast Rising Hollywood actress Adesua Tommy has declared that she will keep acting till the day she dies. In a recent interview, she said, I want to act till I die. That was Adesua speaking on me. It would be great if they could use my funeral in the scene of a movie. I am serious. That's how much this means to me. Mm. Very beautiful girl right there. A lot of people these days are so involved in their careers, some even foregoing, settling down to start a family, for instance. Flavor. Yeah, flavor. flavor you know, just flavor. a few yes. days back, we spoke about the fact that he said he didn't want to start a family yes, because he wanted he was, to face his music want to be squarely. Yes. All yes. right, now, because they, you know, so they're so vested in their work. Mm. Now, the question we're asking this afternoon, guys, one to you out there, and of course, I'm right here in the studio, is that um, do you think, or is it a dangerous thing to make your career your ultimate passion? Is it a dangerous thing to make your career your ultimate passion? Hmm. Let's let Bernard <laughs> give us um, your thoughts. <clears throat> excuse me, I'll, I'll, I'll pick two people's points of view. And mm. um, apparently they happen to say similar things. And these people are huge, huge in the world of business. The first person I'll start with is, um, or was, uh, the late Steve Jobs. Okay. I just watched something of him on Facebook, and then he said, it's difficult to be an entrepreneur, especially if what you're doing is your passion. Mm. That the first difficulty is to sideline it with family. Mm. It's going to be very, very difficult to do that. And then the second person is a cousin of mine. He's a huge time banker. And he also said the same thing, that his boss back in the day used to say, look, if you want to face your passion and work, face your passion. If you want mm. to raise a family, raise a family. It's difficult, almost impossible. There are people who do it, but it's very, very difficult. But in between, I think... You should be able to balance it. Mm. You really should be able to so balance it. So, would you say it's a dangerous thing to make? Because a lot of times they say, do your, you know, do what gives no, you passion. Yeah, what what passion? It's not it's dangerous. I think, I think it's, it's lovely, as a matter of fact, because if really it's your passion, you will balance it. For yeah. example, hey, this is my passion, man. Like, the blog. Yeah, thing. being a... <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, but, but seriously, you know, it, you just have to, you, you have to... You have to be so passionate about what you're doing that you don't even feel like you're working. Mm. Yeah, You just feel that. like you're, in, you, you're enjoying yourself. They wake you up from... No, but like, a, do you think there's a difference between love of your profession and mm. passion for your profession? Yeah, actually. That you're saying that some people work and they forget to eat. Some people yeah, would rather right. not get married or have a family or have children mm -hmm. because they want to face their career... Squarely. Squarely. The, when it comes to raising, a, starting a family as, um, alongside uh, your profession, mm. I feel that people are just scared mm. of uh, giving such amount of attention and dedication yeah. to family and your work because it is, it's normal. One would suffer mm. if you look at it True. because they are both uh, a capital intensive, they are both uh, um, time money, Everything. energy, mm. so one will suffer. But mm. it is safer for you to put most in your family because mm. family comes first. Oh, I just snapped to that. Whatever it is. I just snapped to you. Snap to that. Family comes first. <laughs> if your, your job or whatever you do would crash, mm. <laughs> your family is there to bring you back up and say, okay, don't worry, bro, you can do it again. But if your family crashes, would you use your job to bring back your, your job? Your job is don't worry, bro. Because oh, wait, can, can I take her statement in another context? Yeah. You understand? She's mm. a woman. Yeah. And I'm sorry I had to say this, but this mm. is the reality okay. of our society. As a man or as men, would a man feel threatened to hear a woman say something like that? Because, mm. if, you know, they say that the woman is the homemaker. Mm. Would you yeah. feel that she would work at the detriment of her home? Mm. Because sometimes that's what some men hear. That's a subliminal message they hear when they hear a woman who is so passionate, passionate about, her, about job. her job. Yeah. yeah, sometimes, yes. Looking at the kind of society we are in, mm. people would rather say the men would, wouldn't want a woman to be totally committed to, to the, job. the job like this. This mm. is like you saying, without the job, you are not anybody. This mm. is your life. So. Uh, knowing that uh, raising a family or putting a home together, they have both responsibilities, the man mm. and the woman. You know, if the woman is not there to do hers, the, the man's man responsibility or his efforts mm. won't be seen to be, won't be able to cover up for the whole uh, work in the family. So mm. it's a joint thing. If a woman comes up with this kind of mentality, 
I feel it's a bit... Uh, you know what I'm saying that? And I mean, you know, personally, because I have situations many times whereby mm. the moment you start to talk about how ambitious you are as a woman, mm. the moment the man starts to be like, <laughs> okay. Oh, but there are some men who like Let women who are ambitious. Yeah, there are only, only a few in I do. Society. I like a woman who is ambitious. So, but yeah, are you not afraid? Matthew, right? yeah. Exactly. You're, you're, <laughs> so you're, you're a minority. <laughs> what? Hello? What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> you're a minority. Yeah. Many men feel threatened when they hear a woman who is That's so right, passionate right about many men. <laughs> <laughs> See, 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 see. <laughs> but but you have a, you have you have a very very a salient point. point. You have yeah. just you have made a very very important point. I've met I I know I know a lady a friend of mine. Okay, a friend of mine. Hey. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure she was a friend. Is she she's also still a friend. friend. Yeah. <laughs> you know and you she's. Say I'm just just a friend. Hey. Well, I mean, she could not vex now. He's watching you live. No, baby, you're, you're, you're not just a friend, but you're a good friend. Yeah. Ah, so ah, you that's get, the so one. Yeah, was. You just locked. <laughs> see, the first one you said you locked time your friend zone. The one you just said you threw the key. Away. <laughs> so, babes, never come now to the friend zone. Okay. Right. Can so we just much. go right? Go ahead. Now, the thing is, she's on her third degree mm -hmm. right now, and. You know, I like what well, you don't have a boyfriend. I said she doesn't know why all the guys are running away. I said, babe, because you're reading too much. <laughs> but I was just kidding. But but then you know, it's just like just like that. You know, you have a girl who is very ambitious, whether it's with work or with academics. Truly, like you said, there are some guys who feel threatened already. Yes. And they start, you know, start doing the moonwalk like Michael Jackson. You know? <laughs> slide back. You know, slide. Going back. <laughs> but then here's what I told her when she complained about it to me. I said, see, any man who sees you as a threat is below your level. Just take mm -hmm. it like that. Mm -hmm. If a man sees you high up there and he has that confidence to step up to you, then he's somebody you should consider. But well, let me ask you something. Is that the reason why she's in the friend zone? Oh, she... <laughs> because you question. cannot handle her three degrees. You can, yeah. No, no, no. Three degrees. <laughs> you asked her why she didn't too much. No, it's not easy. One Look degree and two masters. <laughs> what? That's three and a half degrees. Does she want to build the country? <laughs> One degree and two masters. That's three and a half degrees. Honestly, I'd love to hear from you guys out there. We'd really love to hear from you guys out there. What do you think? First of all, is it dangerous to make your profession um, your a passion? Or, you know, something as passionate as Adinsua describes the acting mm. profession? Or do you think that when you're too passionate, as a woman in particular, men run away, or they do the rock they away, the moonwalk, or they do the moonwalk, uh, like uh, I just uh, learned today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let us know. You can head on to Twitter, at WMAX underscore the blog, and on Facebook. Facebook is the blog was over here, Max UHF 57. Sure, right, sure. we have our first story out of the way. We're going to be sent, giving you more stories in a few minutes. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we have our next story waiting to come out. Season. Oh, shit.